What's up guys, welcome back. And this time, we will be doing the tension pulley. Woo! We appreciate your enthusiasm, but we all know it's not that exciting. So basically this part, all it does is it make, builds tension on your belt and then also allows to release the tension when you want to take the belt off. The last video we changed the alternator, it's right here, or actually maybe somewhere up top over here. Then you guys can watch this. So many things to freaking replace. Believe me, I'm not having that much fun doing this, but uh, you know what? It's saving me a shit ton of money. Yeah. So I'll take the money instead. Uh, here we go. Tension pulley, part one. Basically all the tension pulley is, is two bolts, right? So you have one bolt here, one bolt here, underneath the truck. It is a, I think it's a 3 8 or a 12 millimeter. Mm -hmm. would be to take this off. So once you pull out these two bolts, you could just put in this one, and that's that's pretty much it. It's Does pretty, this one die pretty for simple. 60K? Uh, yeah. So what happens is the bearings inside of this could tend they tend to like uh, go bad after a while. So what will happen is uh, while this is spinning, those those bearings could heat up, or if they lose any viscosity in the oil that's in there, viscosity is like the thickness and how good the oil still works. And basically what happens is, is those could seize up and then they could burn up and then snap, your belt snaps and then you have to change this on the road, which is way harder than changing it at home where you have the tools. So here we go. Let's do it. For this one, the best way of getting to it is by going underneath the car. In order to break the tension for the belt, you need to use a T60 bit and a leverage bar or breaker bar or whatever you like to call it. You get one of these from AutoCraft, pretty or simple. Or from the old man down the or street. Or from the old man down the street, the angry guy that's in my video as well. We'll put a link to that video right up here also. All right, here we go. I have no idea what you're, can you point to what you're working on? So you see this right here? See what this is going into right here? So it moves. Okay. So I needed to tighten up this one right here, right? I mean, loosen up this one, this bolt. You can't see it right now. And then there's another bolt just behind this pump right here that is right about here where my finger is. That's where the bolt is. And I have to pull this tight like this, put a piece in that little hole, and then right after I get that, I could loosen up that, no problem. You look comfortable. Um, I'm as comfortable as I can be, let's put it that way. Me too. I wonder too. if I have a piece of solder. Alright, so what I have to do next is you see how I was using that tension to pull it back and forth. Once you pull it to a certain spot, you can get a little piece like this, right? And you can slide it in the hole here so it holds it in place for you. Hi, how Victor. You doing, Victor. So it holds it in place for you, right? Once that holds it in place, then you can much easier get to these two bolts on each side. See what happens is, is that when you don't have that tension there, this falls to the side and it blocks the bolt. So I got the screw right here. As you can see, this is the this is the tension bar. We're gonna push it all the way over, right? Now it's all the way over, and if you come over here, you can see me slide the screw in. I can't see it. That's all right. It's so awesome. I wish I had like like long ass like needle nose pliers. Yeah, right. And then I can like hold it for you. The problem is, is having it in the exact spot, like, um, and not teetering anywhere. Yeah. And then being able to turn that bolt in is almost impossible. Uh, I think I might have got one. And then drop down towards me, I think. This way, right? Yeah. Yep, I think it comes out on current. Is that what this is? Mm -hmm. Is that you're trying to bring that down towards me? Yep. I got you. I can pull it. I started her up. As you can see, everything's running. You can hear it running. We have a new alternator. We have a new tension pulley. She sounds great. Make sure to be be ready to check the next video. It's right here. I know you want to watch it. Come on, just click it. Click it. All right. 
Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.